I know I said I would be on time with my March uh, setup video, but I just returned this Monday from a trip. My cousin got married, so we traveled to Guadalajara for her wedding. It was so beautiful and so much fun seeing many of my cousins. <laughs> so here I am back again. Uh, with a late setup, but I'm hope, always hoping that you can always extract some ideas that could be helpful for future setups or for your current bullet journal, you know, inspiration. This year has been very intense um, so far in a very positive way, you know, uh, family reunions, family events, travels, I mean, I'm always open for that and happy to have that kind of intense situations, I guess, uh, in my life. And you know, even if I don't have my full setup ready, I still use my bullet journal because this is my brain. So like last time I will show you how I kept using it and then I will, I will wrap up uh, my you know, my proper March setup because it does help me. You know, it's those little extra things that um, make my life in here a little bit easier. I don't think I have anything to migrate from my future log um, because I did have my timeline ready and as you can see, it's already half full. Um, there's a lot going on <laughs> this month at my kids school and family, you know, um, but I do like seeing my bits of decoration because it makes it fun to look at. I'm not doing, you know, my my drawings or my sketches like I did last year. Um, I don't know, it just... I'm just looking for as simple and as quick as possible uh, for now. That may change um, in the coming months. But for now, I think I will stay with some stickers here and there to add a pop of color and personality to my new month. And I do like seeing, you know, my big number over here instead of having uh, something like this. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. pre-plan them so I never know what I'm going to what it's going to look like once I'm finished setting up so next is my month over here and let's see last month I did this this is where I was where I've been tracking my exercise my sleep and my cycle. Um, I'm going to keep all of those things but this month I decided to add gratitude and something I look forward uh, to at the end of the day. So once the day is done what I'm thankful for and what I look forward to in the next day. And uh, This is going to go underneath my cover 
the thing is, um, let me show you. I was going to do just like in January, in February, my little um, hearts. Where is it? Here, like this. Um, and as you can see, I did the sketch and everything. But yesterday I went to a store and they gave me this napkin. I mean, isn't this the most gorgeous napkin you've ever, ever seen? It's just lovely. And I had my bullet journal with me and I saved it in here temporarily. And today I was like, huh, I do like the way this looks. And I think think I would like this to be my cover for March um, something different you know so even though I love my little hearts I'm in love with this napkin and let's see how this turns out the thing is I added this underneath because I was counting on having this here you know so it would be a flap and then my um, gra gratitude log now the napkin is too flimsy to have it on its own and this is too small for this so I need <laughs> something as big as the actual page I'm, 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 I'm thinking out loud trying to figure out how I'm doing this Let's see, so I'm thinking mm. maybe something like that and have it in here. Ugh. But I, let's see, for those of you who may not know it, the back pages on your Leuchtturm have a little, you know, indentation or, you know, those lines to cut it, to be able to remove the page uh, in case you need to remove them. So if you need a page that is exactly the same size as your Leuchtturm and you don't want to cut a page to size you have these ones so maybe this will be the best thing hmm something like that Now, do I want to cut my napkin over here? Let's see. I could cut my napkin like so, or have it overflowing on this side, which is also beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with overflowing. Okay.
with the way this turned out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> now I'm tempted to look for uh, interesting napkins anywhere I go. This is where I'm going to track my exercise for this month. And this space, I mean, is still useful for notes. Um, I'm just, I'm very excited with this layout. Wow. Um, now I need my number. Okay, next is my trackers. So I have my sleep tracker over here. Now my cycle. Um, I always link Essie. She uh, has these for her, her patrons. And I have been loving her cycle tracker. And I want to use it to find patterns between my cycle, my mood, my sleep my energy during the month and I mean I've been able to identify some patterns that I kind of suspected uh, but now I'm seeing it <laughs> so yeah I'm going to keep doing this uh, hopefully all year I have these this is also from Essie um, I like her affirmations for the month I didn't print them for January and February, but I would like to have them now for March. But I'm not sure where, where I should have them. I could have them here and then cut these little parts. But I mean, I like seeing the flower on, on both sides. So maybe here as a flap, I'm not sure. I need to figure out if it makes sense to have this in here or maybe in my Hobonichi. Okay, so that's my monthly setup, now my weeklies. I'm staying with the same layout I have been using for the past months. I'm loving it, it's functional and it's very easy to do. So yes, I will continue with that, exactly the same. You can find the same process in my bullet, bullet journal setup for this year, in my previous month's setup for, you know, the last months of 2023 and, you know, January, February, well, January, because February, I kind of fast forward because it was exactly the same. So I have week 11, 12 and 13. And as you can see, I have already been taking lots of notes in my journal, lots of reflections and thoughts on where I want uh, this channel to go, the kind of content I would like to create. <music> slash vision log um, then I have over here my monthly planning spread love it I'm not changing this layout in the foreseeable future because it just it really works for me then I jump into my actual month and here's where I track my exercise I'm loving this what I'm thankful for every day, my trackers, my weeks. Uh, 
and then I have some of my dailies. Um, here I have March 7th, then I have a bunch of journaling pages, and then I continue on March 8th. So I'm loving this. So far I am on page 117, 117, and this has 200 and well, 46 pages because I can't use this part. So I'm going good. I'm, I'm not even halfway through my notebook. Uh, so I think I will be able to fit the first half of the year in here. Very happy about that. Um, so this goes in here. So, and voila. This is a Chic Sparrow cover. I have a review on this cover on my channel, uh, in case you're curious. I hope you found some ideas that were useful for you. I'm going to save this for maybe for April, <laughs> or unless I find another very cute napkin, I will stick with my napkins. Uh, this will go in my journal. Well, I want to make the most of this, so maybe two journals. One for my Hobonichi and another, I don't know, <laughs> or save it for something else. I just love this. I mean, it's oh, so cute. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you like this video. I hope you find some inspiration, ideas that worked for your own planning system, for your own creative process. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.